All right, I'm gonna make this as quick as I possibly can. This is a clean view of my Gary's Mod data folder. Let me do server connect, start new game, boom, boom. I just save the context, so look, I broke it already, but. All right, ready? So, okay, nice. Um, this is RP Goodreads 2. Um, you can obviously, you can disable all of this output there. Uh, except for network strings, every single step in here should be able to be deactivated. Um, you can also just not show this when it starts up, whatever. Um, let's get down to the nitty gritty. I want to test something real quick because it's been broken and I don't know why. Uh, okay, it worked. Anyway, get back to business. All right. The meat and potatoes. This is a book editing panel. It's very different from the last time. You'll probably notice a few things immediately, but uh, let's let's say I have a book. Taylor, two two gas stations. Nice. What's under a brief description? Um, this is a brief a description. I hope it's spelled brief right. It's written like that on every single possible spot in the ad. I mean the uh, app. Uh, this is your text. Look at what I'm doing. I'm adding HTML to my thing. Does it, is it work? Is it going to work? Yes, it is. Look, that's an H1 tag. And this this is normal text. Why, oh, Jove? It's normal text. Wow. I did it, guys. I added a scroll bar. It only took me seven years. I'm so sorry. Look what happens when I add all of this text. Oh, my gosh. It's got a scroll bar. I did it. Also, these are... um built once and then saved so if you preview them it'll remember where it was same thing with this one too um anyway yeah you can also add styles so if i wanted to say uh like this uh let's do uh, span uh, class equals i don't know p i don't know i don't know class equals p poo uh so span uh this text will be special text and let's come over here to dot who there's no tab i'm so sorry i don't know how to get that to work you just use two spaces like a real man in the 40s <laughs> um what does poo do i don't know color red uh background color yeah sure sounds good to me preview What's it look like? This. It works. It's HTML. Ta-da! You can now do this. The way that this works is um, through s sending strings over the net library. Uh, the net library in Gary's mod supports a maximum size of 64 kilobytes per buffer. I don't know if you guys know what that looks like. But let me give you a quick example. Uh, I'm going to open this one. This holy shit that's 57,000 characters 79 lines uh, if I open this containing folder in Explorer uh, it's only 52.6 kilobytes and this is uncompressed you compress all your sprint, all your strings when you send them in Gary's mod so this is going to be pretty sick uh, you can write some big ass books in this. Uh, with no problem whatsoever, uh, or theoretically. It also supports JavaScript. Um, I pose no warranty whatsoever on what you do with the JavaScript in here. I don't know how it works, really. But anyway, I digress. Let's save this and close it. Now, if you look, I'm hovering at it. It says, this is a brief description. It's probably too small to really see, but it says, this is a brief description. Well, what does that mean? Um, well, I've added this feature, you can describe your books, but on accident, I'm going to show you what I was doing. Uh, I had this bookshelf. This bookshelf allows you to actually fit these binders into it, right? Sort of, if you do it right. Here we go. So that was there. I went like this, and I used, before I had the interface, um, before I had the interface set up, I used uh, these console commands. So I said, all right, this is Doug's book, and I said, submit. 
and I realized I missed the book, and I described the bookshelf, and I was like, holy shit. So, uh, I accidentally made this mod too. Uh, I've seen it, something similar to it, in an old Kuro script mod. It was a really, really cool one, but um, I also added this. Uh, this is a couch. You can do that um, in chat instead of through the console. Uh, it won't show up unless you're like 50 units away from it, which is nice because you can't like snipe signs and shit. Uh, it's also very kind on your renderer. What else can I do with my cool mod? I don't know. I think that's everything uh, for now. So basically with entities, you're going to have an, a journal. This is going to be renamed to a journal. Anybody can spawn, have a journal. Um, you can write in your journal, you can do whatever, it's the same thing as a book, as an HTML panel. The only difference is journals are run by players, and if you want to get access to it, you write your journal, and you hit save, and it will send a copy to the server. The server will keep a copy of it, or the server entity will keep all the copy data of it. Da -da 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 -da. Forget how to talk. I, I slept for like three hours yesterday, I'm back on my bullshit. Um... The server entity will save all of the book uh, data table stuff, and then when you press use on it, it will give it to the player that used it, so they don't have it until they use it. Um, and that's how the journal will work. It's just, I want to read this book in front of me, hit E, and then the server goes, oh, here's the information for that book. There you go. And um, for books. Books are going to be kept on the server in text files and then when you want a book, you request a copy of that book from the server, probably from a library object or a librarian or something, some kind of thing. I want it so that you can hook into it from a game mode or from some other point like Dark RP or something like that. You can say, oh, I want to build this book. So I'm going to make some small API for you to do that. Um, and basically, through the buy menu, you can buy like a $50 book, like how to cook ratatouille or some shit. And, uh, yeah. Uh, those are the two things. And then, of course, signs. But signs are kind of obsolete now. What was being able to... I don't know what sign went. I'm just going to do this. What was being able to just describe things. Uh, this is a gas can, right? This is a gas can. Or you can do something like this. Oop. There we go. Um, slash desk. Um, keep out. If you come up close to the sign, it says keep out. It doesn't say right at home. It says keep out. <laughs> right? Something like that. Um, so signs might not need any more information than that. However, I might make something like a bulletin. Where you can do stuff like this. Because you, if it turns blue, you're actually hitting it. And you can do this. Um, Wednesday, Wednesday is for the boys. Yeah, so you can just walk up with your thing. Out. Oh, Wednesday's for the boys, I see. So, and then if you hit E, it will give a more detailed explanation of something. So that's probably the future of what signs will do. Um, I've also got this crazy idea of adding a sticky note. I know I said I'd do that before, but I've got, I actually know how I'm going to do it this time. It would be a swip that you have in your hotbar somewhere. Uh, you hit R and it will pull the notepad close to your face and then it will absorb all of your keyboard input. Um, you type directly onto the notepad up to like 120 characters. And then when you hit R again, it'll go back down and then you can click and put a thing on the, on the world as like a decal with a small, uh, I guess, shape. I don't know. How, I don't know the terminology yet, but it would put like an entity on the wall, or on the floor, or on the objects, um, and parent to it. So it would be kind of like doing this. Whoops! You have this saw blade, and I want to put a sticky note on it. Um, it's kind of like doing a. Huh? There it is. Uh, gonna be like dum bum. There you go. That's basically what it's going to do. Is it's going to parent sticking out with a weld or something like that. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> yeah. That's my idea. Um, I'll kind of just 
you know, do a thing. Uh, I also wanted to do a notebook that does the same thing, only you can't paste it onto stuff. So you can just be walking, go, oh, cool, and then you hit R, and then a notepad will come in front of your face, and you start typing. I'll probably still keep mouse input. That would be kind of nice. Those are my plans. I have no idea. The book, uh, journal, sign are definitely going to be made. The uh, other stuff is a stretch goal. So yeah, 10 minutes. I'm sorry for wasting so much of your time. Uh, I hope you have a pleasant evening. Happy, uh, what is today? What day is today? National day today. Today is Safe Sun Week. That's not a day. Learn about composting. Happy Learn About Composting Day, everybody.